So, we are back with the post-analysis of our NBL round one game against Team Cyber Bears. So, yes. yeah, there are going to be so, massive, massive spoilers ahead if you haven't watched the game. Go and watch that on Keen's channel if you haven't. So, yeah, I definitely recommend watching my content over Boyd's. I know, right? But you need to you need to watch Keen's and then Boyd's. But not Boyd's, thank well, Keen's. Well, well, mine and then Keen's and then you'll... Well, yeah, ten, if, we, if you have full con, if you go Mirror and me... Yes, and that, then that, you go that boy. Is, that is that is the correct order. Yeah. We have a minute team builders, not efficient. Yeah. Perfect for ad revenue. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not that I think Miller is a monitor YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um. Did you guys watch like uh, Cyber versus Team Builder for us? Yes. Yes. Yeah, they were so scared of the things that we didn't bring. <laughs> <laughs> we're so no, scared right. of. But we brought them as buffs though. Yeah, that's true. Well, we almost didn't bring so Kling Clang from um for Marowak just so that they could be a little bit scared of Thunderbolting with Raichu. But then yeah, I'm glad we didn't the, though. Yeah, Kling Clang was the correct one because that's what they were scared of. Mm -hmm. They would have brought the little shroom if they if we brought uh, Marowak. Marowak, yeah. Yeah, well, if, if we brought Kling Clang and Marowak, they'd have brought, brought it because they said that Marowak in Trick Room was one of the most scary things. So but yeah, they were really scared of the Aselgor and really scared of the Trick Room mode with Kling Clang Marowak. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they were, were quite baffled by what we brought, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, like, yeah, yeah. They, they were so confused as to, like how how our our lead beat Drift from Lele because they they were throughout the entire team builder they were going to lead Drift from Lele, and if they did, yeah. we just instantly won, which was really yeah. annoying. Yeah, they could they couldn't see at the end of their game like how what we led was going to be Drift from Lele. Yeah, but, it's because like, we never showed that we were belly drama Boomerang. Yeah, yeah, we never showed the belly drama, did we? Yeah. Because yeah, if they led Drift from Lele, it was just the freest follow me belly drum, and then we'd literally sweep. So, because mm -hmm. they've already got their Lele out, they would need to switch Lele out and then back in. Um, and by then, we've already killed like two things with the zoom roll, and we'd have brought in Coco as well. We could have steamed yeah, exactly. the, the Lele slot. So, yeah, yeah it, it would have been a whitewash, but then they, could, they last minute decided to change to Raichu Volcarona. So, I wonder if they had a whirlwind on the Volcarona. Uh, it was um, Heatwave Giga Drain, Quiver Dance Protect. It was, yeah. Oh, so right. They, they yeah, showed they all four moves. Well, at least they, I assume it's Heat Wave. They didn't actually show Heat Wave, but they showed Fire Ring. So, yeah, they so went for the If we were, like, Proc Rune, we probably would have been able to get it up again. Yeah, well, I like the, the we, we, if we went um, Gallade Trick Room, then we would have been able to, but not not with Clang Clang. If we went Archiberry, we could. I well, guess, no, because we just then... follow me again still. Yeah, go follow True. me. Right. Like, if we'd gone Trick Room, I would have probably wanted to follow me with Magmortar over Raichu. Yeah. Yeah, but but then yeah, we're sacrificing our only real thing through um well I guess if we go If we were trick room we'd have a we'd have Marowak, yeah. True. True. Yeah, if we went like Magma to Kling Clang with Marowak in the back, that would have been super good. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But you know, hindsight anyway. and all that. Yeah, we, <laughs> we won anyways, yeah, that's I'm, what I'm still content with our our plan. Like Boy, it's it's funny as well, like we were discussing before the game, but like what what attack should we do if we see a Raichu Volcarona lead? And then we decided on doubling up into the Raichu. And then we doubled up into the Volcarona. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that worked out. Um, I just, like... I feel like what we did made sense. I think so. I still, don't, I still think we should have, you know, maybe protected the Zoomerol. Protect, well, like, like, obviously protecting the Zoomerol was correct, but I think it was, like, definitely work out to build up protecting the Zoomerol was correct. Because they're never going to fake out Raichu. Because they're, they're, yeah. so, they're so against the fake out speed tie, they, they would never go for that. So they were well, always I mean, going to fake out as in real. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the problem, like, if they fake out and quiver danced, I guess, but then. Um... Well, if they faked out and quiver danced into, like. Because what, what did we do? We attacked Vol did we attack Volcarona? We doubled Volcarona with Aqua and Psychic, yeah. Yeah. And then they just healed back. Because if we had just psychic the Volcarona and protected the Zoom Rail, they wouldn't have got the recovery with Giga Drain, and then they would have been in Aqua Jet range. So. Yeah, they would have. They were quite bulky as well, because they were like, oh, Aqua Jet does 60%. Yeah, they, they, um, they were bulky because they wanted Volcarona to be able to live a final gambit. Oh, right, okay. So. That's they were so yeah. scared of a final gambit. Yeah. Well, so they should be. You should be scared. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why we got two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, a bit, a bit of an awkward think... one, but like, I'm, I'm, yeah. the, the follow me caught the right off guard, which was nice. Mm -hmm. It's really good they didn't switch into Lele on the Aqua Jet. Like, getting rid of Raichu quickly, like, it did free up our Coco, 
even though we I don't think we went for an electric move after that, but yeah, we still Liam Z and then it died. Yeah, <laughs> it was worth though. That that's Liam Z was crucial. Oh yeah, yeah, it was. That, that was yeah. It was the only way that Coco could take out Lele in terrain. Um, like the Z wild charge does get normal Lele's in terrain, but then they could have been bulky. So. Um, mm -hmm. And they could have still had the right to as well. So Stevium was was a really good call. It's a shame that on the turn we brought in Coco and Nido Queen because we were considering going for Stevium and Aquajet into the Nido Queen. If we did that, then the game was even even quicker because then the the Lele goes down one turn before. Yeah. Although actually, in in that case, they would have Zen Headbutt um, KO'd our Azumarill. So then the game would have changed pretty much um, completely because we did like Azumarill mm -hmm. was the the most clutch member. So. Yeah, they did have one or two chances to finish off the Azumarill, but they targeted like the Coco. Yeah, we had one good um, protect on the Coco because we were um, we were expecting the Queen to be scarfed, like very, very strongly expecting it to be scarfed. So protect knockoff made so much sense in that situation. But then, yeah, if they would have they would have worked that out and gone for the the Sludge Bomb into Azumarill, that could have been pretty bad. Mm. I suppose they, with what they had though. I don't know why. It was they were just protecting their drift limb though, weren't they? Because that's that's yeah. why they kept targeting the coco. Yeah, yeah. And then the the helping hand shadow ball, of course, I've got because we thought the the coco was safe there. Yeah. Because um, we had knocked off and not seen a choice scarf, so because um, we had a reasonable amount of bulk on the coco, so I was pretty sure it was going to live the shadow ball, but then it didn't. So mm -hmm. it was a pretty nice. It play probably was close to living the helping hand one. I, yeah. I and it depends on their everywhere. investment, yeah, and, and Cyberbaz never put out their spreads, because in <laughs> case they annoying. face people in top cut, which is a mm. bit of a shame. I, I, I think just for the fans, they should be able to see the spreads, but there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but... <clears throat> they had icy wind. Yeah, well, like, that made sense to hit the Staraptor, but, like, I, yeah. I, I, I did think, well, we, we all thought they would, it would be either clear smog or haze, because of the Azumarill, mm -hmm. so... Quite surprising not seeing that. Yeah, the drift that was very different to what I expected it to be. Yeah, well, it was it was definitely very bulky. Like we saw, it did like it took forty from the burn to break bird, so mm -hmm. it was it was definitely going to live our Azumarill Aquajet. So I I would assume that it would have only just lived, which means that the Mystic Water was the correct call, I think. If yeah, got that um, belly drum up, especially mm -hmm. if they led led with the Drift Limelight, like, then that would have been even better because then they would have expected to live the Aquajet with with Drift Limelight and then wouldn't have. Which would have been really good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, the Mystic Water, even though it didn't come into play, um, the turn where they Quiver Danced, like, and then Giga Drained the next turn, mm -hmm. if they would have Giga Drained the first turn, like they probably should have done, uh, they would have been at the health where they thought they could have lived that quick. Yeah. But yeah. the Mystic Water would have just the kill. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, the Mystic Water didn't actually end up coming into play because we got the KOs we would have done anyway but yeah like that the security against the Drift Limb and that bulk runner if it did recover enough was really nice so. yeah the fact that we knew what range we get it from yeah mm -hmm. yeah, and they didn't that, that, that was that was quite nice yeah yeah but they're, they're, and they're, winning with the Zoom yeah <laughs> yeah we're be beating them with the Zoomer like getting four KOs with the Zoomer was really really nice against Cyber Baz yeah because they bodied us in in season two with the Azumarill, so it's nice to to get revenge or payback, as we should say. Yeah, I mean they bodied us with our setup Azumarill as well. We didn't even need to set up ours. <laughs> yeah, yeah it did really well. Yeah, because it, what, what it, it took damage like turn one and then just stayed at that health until the very end against the Drift Blim. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it, 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 it which, is, well. which is quite funny with it with being a, like a, a forty plus minute game. <laughs> oh yeah, like like that was way longer than it should have been given the name. Zumaro only months. took damage on turn one and turn uh, and in the last turn. Yeah, <laughs> like those were the only two. Those were the only two turns it took an attack. Yeah, that's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, but I think there were there were still quite a few like big mistakes that we made. Like we let our Staraptor get burned for no reason when we could have just immediately switched into Magmortar. Like, yeah, Magmortar yeah. was so free. Yeah, like, like we couldn't have been scared of a Shadow Ball, because they're not going to Shadow Ball the Staraptor. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Magmortar switch there was so free. And then we, mm -hmm. like, we were trying... Another mistake. Yeah, go on. Uh, in team building, we should put Rock Tomb on Magmortar. Oh, yeah. Rock yeah. Tomb or Rock Slider or whatever, because we, like, we just had Overheat and Psychic um, for the Fire Emons, then hitting Nidoqueen. And then, yeah. like, 
that we didn't actually discuss that third move at all. I just I just slapped on Heatwave just for filler. But yeah, we yeah. we really should have just thought about it a little bit more. And if we did have a, a rock move on on Magmortar, then we'd have we'd have won two zero at least. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that would have made that. Angry. Well, I guess we could have missed the rock two minutes rock slice because we did end, end up missing that first Heatwave. Yeah, but it's not like Magmortar. I mean, they had to they had to spend quite a lot of time getting uh, Volcarona in a position where Magmortar could die. Yeah. So it's not like we wouldn't have had opportunities to hit more moves. Because, I mean, we missed the first heat wave we went for. Yeah. I think the one thing they could have done, um, but didn't, was like, um, like if they just quivered and up to plus six against Magmorta and then killed Magmorta with Giga Drain. I don't think like, they, they could might... afford to. Like, like, they had to keep playing on the heat wave misses, but we had got them, we got them down to like 40% with the, the heat waves when they were only at plus two. So yeah. it, we, I think we just needed to heat wave like two more times and then overheat and then we'd have got it. Yeah. So they couldn't have got that. I don't think they could have got high enough with quiver dances into Giga Drains to survive the Azuma Aqua Jet. Um, mm -hmm. If they were maybe. if they were Super Berry, then maybe. But um, but yeah, considering the Rizzi. Yeah. 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 yeah like, no, oh, maybe, another uh, thing I don't want to do in the future is bring matter with a, a one hundred percent accurate move. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we had Psychic. We could have just yeah, but that, Psychic. that didn't help for Matter Girls though, because that was the. The main reason we didn't bring it in against Metagross, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Because we, we were quite. Yeah, we we had like we had our tailwind up, so we were trying to decide which was the best odds way of winning, and mm -hmm. we decided on a seventy percent chance of winning against a ninety percent chance of winning, which yeah. was quite funny. Because it did end up having to come down to the Flame Body Aqua Jet. Um, yeah. Rather than just hitting heat. Because we were like, okay, if we miss Heat Wave and then they critical hit high roll stomping tantrum, then yeah. we could lose. And then we went for an Aqua Jet Flame Body burn instead, which which didn't make any sense. I think, I mean, admittedly, like that was literally just right after Gallade missed Zen Headbutt. So I yeah. can get why we were a little bit tilted. Yeah, but it's, it is a shame. We should... like, like, if we had just run Psycho Kai, it would have been fine. But Psycho Cup wasn't yeah. enough for Nido Queen. It did need to be Zen Headbutt, which, which mm -hmm. is a bit annoying. And like, if they had just kind of the, the I don't know, seventeen standard spread for for Driftblim, which was quite defensively bulky, anyways. Yeah. Uh, Gallade would have done what, like seventy five percent minimum. Yeah, because because it was in the last turn of Psychic Terrain as well. Yeah. Yeah, it would, exactly. It would have done a lot, but even if we got Flame Body Burns, then it wouldn't have made a difference. So. Yeah. Um. So that 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 Zen Headbutt Miss did mean that Flame Body could have saved them. So. Yeah. So apart from the start leaving strap trend, did we make any other like crucial miss? Well, like I, I, I like, on the turn um, when we lost Galade, so it turned into a one v one where we break bird of the Nido Queen. Like we could have worked out that they did need to target the Glade. because we were like yeah, we, like, and we, just we protect trade, it. Yeah, we just trade one v one like Zen Headbutt and Break Bird turns it into the one v one, and we think we win that one v one, which mm -hmm. we ended up doing. But yeah, it should have been very obvious to protect the Glade because. They could Will-O-Wisp the, the Staraptor, I guess, but they would shown mm -hmm. Helping Hand already, which meant that they probably didn't have Ice Beam or Thunderbolt. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, like, the Protect on Gallade yeah. would have, like, definitely been That's true. the correct play. Like, even, even before we'd seen what they did, it would have still been the correct play. But we, we were so focused on getting the guaranteed trade, even though it wasn't guaranteed because we could have missed that headbutt, but there was no yeah. way that they could have taken out Staraptor. Um, unless I, I think like, it's just at that point we said like that. if we went down to three versus three single, then our side should beat their side. Yeah, yeah, and and it so, it did the majority of the time. Like it did have the flame body, it did have the heat wave stuff. So yeah, but like like I, I I'm I'm still fine with our decision, but it it was very obvious to protect Galade because they did need to mm -hmm. double Galade, and then the Brave Bird would have taken out the need because they thought that the Nido Queen would live the Brave Bird as well. So. Protect yeah, exactly. And... No, like oh, when they doubled Gallade, I think that was like they got good rolls in order to take. They, they got down. they got a special defense drop um, with Gallade. I haven't actually done the calc yet. Um, I think the first the hit was actually high rolls. Yeah, well, high, high, high roll special, roll. special defense drop guaranteed the, the Earth power. But yeah. I haven't done the calc because we didn't actually have any special bog from the Gallade. We'd have just had to rely on its raw stats. But I, I haven't done the calc to see if we'd. Have yeah, we just had a little bit of physical defense, didn't we? And then it was max speed, and then the rest was dumped in attack. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know if that if that mattered, but um, if it did, then oh well, we should have protected. Yeah. Right, hold on. Do do we know what nature the Needle Queen was? Uh, 
I would like it had max HP or two four four HP. Probably right. modern. Okay. So if you would assume modest. Right. Okay. I'll just I'll just randomly calc it now then, because it was uh not life orbed anymore, was it? Yeah, yeah. We had knocked off the life orb, but it's still sheer force, so it's still. Doable. Yeah. Well, it does say if they weren't max special attack, then uh, it does. Well, if, it, if they were max special attack, it does fifty six um, maximum, forty seven minimum. Okay. So if they I had think, like, I think the shadow ball did like seventy. Yeah, it did like just over half. Yeah. Well, it did over half. It, it, it did over half, yeah. So yeah it didn't do like 70. Like, I'd say like, maybe it did like 60 something. So probably uh, 60 at most. I, 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 don't, I, don't think it, I, I don't think it mattered because we didn't have any special yeah. box. So, oh well. It, it was just, yeah, pr protect was definitely correct. Mm -hmm. So, oh well. Because, yeah, the, the, I think protecting his goal as well really would have helped us. Yeah, like, well, there, there were a couple of, like, first turn protect with the zoom roll protect to preserve the galley like they were they, they are very obvious plays look like even even in hindsight they're, they're very obvious plays looking back mm -hmm. that we should have done um yeah that, that, those were those were like and the switching Sarapta in on the willow wisp i think was the um that that was that was so obvious that i'm very surprised we didn't do that yeah yeah but there we go yeah and, and having the rock move on mag mortar as well would have helped a lot so i think those those are the big the big points to take away from this like those two protects they're not switching to bang water and then um, not having the rock move so just like slight um bad prep. i think i think, I think the, the rock move good. one is we got kind of like oh we, we, we want to lead this and then like how do we how do they stop that and then it was just like oh staraptor nukes everything yeah so i think we kind of just like gallied and mag mortar were just sort of like not thrown on, but they weren't like there wasn't as much kind of care and thought put into what they were gonna do. Yeah, it, yeah, it's so, just like Magmorta is there for Metagross, and that was pretty much all our thought process for that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we did, didn't need to think about that a little bit more. So, and maybe that's just some rust in the. Yeah, I, I think I think we were definitely rusty. I think if you watch everybody in the NBL yeah, this week, everyone is definitely rusty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's been quite a long time since the last one. Shaking off that rust already, I guess. So we we managed to overcome Cyberbaz, who had um, always beaten us in previous seasons. So we finally mm. got our first win against them. Um, so probably the closest game of this week. Oh, definitely the closest game. Well, it, it, like I think ours was the only one-zero as well. And it came, yeah. It came down to a zoom roll being burned and in the red. So that's as close yeah. as you can get. <laughs> Not being critted by the shadow ball. It, uh, we would have lived the crit because um, it yeah, did yeah. it did less than. 66 percent um, with the just regular shadow ball so even we would have led the crit because we put mainly in special defense over hp and we yeah we did crit, yeah so. it was for sludge wave wasn't it of all things yeah yeah it was <laughs> and then it ended up uh, being really well it only took special attacks didn't it yeah it was giga drain and then two, shadow ball. two giga drain and shadow ball yeah I, I guess fake out shit but you know that doesn't count yeah but yeah yeah we were uh, one oh we got we started positive which is pretty good so yeah and then we Facing team, uh, team Rainbow Mythical. Yep. We're facing them next, next week. week. So, um, which round have we got there? We got the team builder on Keen's channel. Um, we'll have uh, battle on yours. Yeah, but battle on mine, and then we'll have the post analysis on Millers next week. So, we look forward yeah. to that. Pretty good start to the NBL. I'm happy yeah, with it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Let's, let's just keep it going. Keep it going strong. I think we've got the team yeah. for it. So, and hopefully like we're shaking team. off our rust as well. So, I, I really like our team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, it's, yeah, it's I, definitely I, the best I one we've is. had so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that every. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think it was maybe better than the Mega Game. It was Actually, like to be fair, busted. the season one one was busted. But... Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. We, we had Mega Gengar, that. Mega Metric, Liar, Heatran, Cleo. Yeah. <laughs> we had Clefable as well, didn't we? Yeah. You know, that was... That's because we just doubled doubles all those tiers and they just had no idea what they were doing. Yeah, they had, they had Mega, Mega Metacross in like the second or third tier, which was silly. Yeah. But I guess it wasn't immediately speed boosting them, but there we go. Yeah, that's what happened when you vote as Mons to A tier. <laughs> <laughs> no room. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. I think that concludes this. So, yeah, look forward to Rainbow Mythical next week. Yeah, right. can't wait. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.
You didn't say bye. I said see you later. All oh, right. I didn't hear it. Maybe wow. we said it. Was I remember saying it. <laughs> <laughs>